Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Anybody in the building? How y'all doing this morning? I just thought it was only right that I come through this morning. Can everybody hear me? Check, check, check. Check one, two, check one, two. Let me check. M. Nugent, M. Nugent, how you doing? How you doing? I thought it was only right that I come through. I'm glad that somebody responded that they can hear me. That's right. Well, I just wanted to come through. I wanted to come through um, real quick. Uh, uh, drop in. Let everybody know that 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 your bro is good. And if you have family in Baltimore and you need them checked on, um, I got you. You know what I mean? Welcome to another edition of Morris World TV. Uh, family, if you haven't heard, uh, in the middle of the night, uh, the Baltimore Key Bridge collapsed. Um, man, 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 tragic, tragic, tragic story. Um, with that being said, uh, man, man, I got so much to say about this. Man, I, I, I can say this. My mother does not like that bridge maybe it is i don't know is that is if, if if you know i i've been i haven't been trained for this so uh i call a spade a spade my mama did not like this bridge and many people in baltimore actually avoid this bridge y'all hear what i say then listen see y'all not going to get this nowhere else many people that i know you know what i mean do that bridge connect Interstate 95? No. Actually, it connects 695 to Baltimore County. So 695, all right, let me explain. Let me, man, let me. Yeah, I'm going to give you all the in-depth, man. That's what's going to make Morris World TV so unique. Do you know what I mean? Uh, as we go into a new era. Uh, traffic. Let me, I'm, I'm glad you asked the question so we can give details to this. You know what I mean? See, here we go, here we go. Brother Hakeem, how you doing, brother? Black man, how you feeling? I'm doing well, brother. Let me tell you that you live on the air. I'm covering the story right now, and I appreciate the call. I've been getting calls all morning. Uh, I'm live on the air. How you doing, brother? And I was like, yo, why are you calling the, the, the hip-hop journalist up here in Ohio? I write for the newspaper. I said I was going to call you and be like, man, bro, you do these topics, and my whole job is to do entertainment reporting, hip-hop reporting. Like, what's going on? I'm going to call you after my show. Uh, speak to the Morris World TV. We're going to do some collabs, brother. We're going to do some collabs because I realize that I'm some type of star now, and I got to use my star power to get this message across. That's just what it is. <laughs> hey, hey, got my article that I wrote. I'm gonna tell you the name of it. I'm gonna get off. It's called Homeland Security Did Diddy Things to Diddy. <laughs> hey, brother, I gotta bring you on the show, and we gotta talk about that article real soon. I'm gonna call you soon as I get off the air. <laughs> okay, black man, peace. All right, brother. So anyway, as you can see, I got a brother that that's a, that's he's actually a journalist in um, Akron, he call it Blackrim, Ohio, and uh, he just reached out to me. Um, and, 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 and and I realized, I told y'all, I realized this the other day. Um, I realized this the other day, how many people reach out to me and how much influence that Morris World TV have uh, around this country and even outside the country. So I'm deciding to, um, to take this uh, Morris World TV platform to a whole nother level, not to be boxed in uh, and try to convince people a thousand times over that they're being defrauded. Maybe I, I might convince them once or twice and then move on to the next story. But this story here is a personal story because uh, this bridge here is 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 something <laughs> is something of a um it it it. It, it, it's not one of, 
doing because of this situation i, I want to be careful with what i say uh because i don't want to be insensitive to those who may have fell victim to uh, this tragic accident but i will tell you this is a scary bridge and when i say it's a scary bridge it's not a scary bridge as if like the bay bridge here that um that takes from uh, uh, from Annapolis to the eastern shore of Maryland. Not that bridge, because that bridge kind of wobbles, and you can feel it wobble. Um, not not scary like that, but it's, it's, it's scary because it looks, when you look at the bridge, it looks so thin. And, and this is real talk. It real talk. I, I'm telling you, the bridge literally... Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay. So when you riding up this bridge, it looks typical. It looks like a typical bridge, but when you're on the bridge, it really looks as if you're suspended in air, uh, on a faith in the, on, on faith in a prayer. It really does. And I'm not going to front. I'm not going to front. This is not the key bridge. Uh, this is not the Francis Scott Key Bridge in D.C. that runs off of 95, I think. This is the Baltimore Key Bridge. The Baltimore Key Bridge, um, I'm going to go into the history of it real quick. But, um, yeah, yeah, this bridge here, it it, it looks typical from, 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 from an aerial view. It looks typical of a bridge that you would cross and you think nothing of it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this here, no, it's off of 695. This bridge goes off of 695. It connects 695. So it may be 895, but I, I do know it connects off of 695. But the point that I'm making about this bridge is that if anybody grew up in the Baltimore area, you know, and I know that most people avoid that bridge. Most people would rather go through the tunnel. So in Baltimore, you have two tunnels. Um, uh, uh, most people would avoid that bridge right there because the bridge really does give off like you're going up, 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 and it's it it feels thin. It it just does. It just does. But my mama can't stand that bridge. Good goodness of gracious, why we gotta go this way? Some people would rather ride all the way around. You know what I mean? Some people would rather ride all the way around, but but that wasn't the problem uh, 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 with this situation here. The problem with this situation here is that the cargo ship ran into the uh, one of the pillars of the bridge. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody said the D.C. bridge goes from Germantown to Roslyn, Virginia. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, but the cargo ship ran to ran into one of the pillars that hold up the bridge. And the 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 the, the odd thing about this is, let me see if I can um, pull this up real quick. The odd thing about this is how the whole demonstration collapsed. You know what I'm saying? This is the odd thing about this. It it let's let's show it real quick. I mean, I guess it's, I don't know, I don't know bridge construction, but it, it just seems hit one pillar and everything goes. Wow. Hit one pillar and everything goes. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I don't know anything about bridge construction. But I do know that in this era of technology, um, engineering, you would think that it wouldn't be as simple. And, and like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to antagonize the situation because you know lives have been lost. But I'm telling you, it is. That is a scary bridge. The tunnel, we always go through down, down south. Yeah, in Baltimore, it's always the tunnel. Nobody, listen, most melanated people, <laughs> most melanated people, they are going through that tunnel. 
It is what it is. They are going through that tunnel. It is what it is. Um, but when you look at this, look at this, man. And it just took the whole bridge down. Well, I mean, I like to I like to let y'all know that I'm good and safe. Um, and I'm from the family that I know of, I know that my family, we don't we don't really travel this area, so we good. But let me give y'all a little bit of history, you know what I mean, on this bridge. It's a built in 1977, referred to locally as Key Bridge. Uh, the structure was later named after the author of American National Anthem. The bridge is more than 8,500 feet or 1.2 miles long. 1.2 miles long in total. Its main section spans 1,200 feet and was one of the longest continuous truss bridges in the world upon its completion, according to National Steel Bridge Alliance. About 31,000 vehicles a day use this bridge, which equals 11.3 million vehicles per day, according to Maryland Transportation Authority. The river and the port Baltimore are both key to the shipping industry on the East Coast, generating more than 3.3 billion a year and directly employing more than 15,000 people. Ask what people in Baltimore can expect going forward. The state transportation secretary said it's too early to tell. Obviously, we reached out to a number of engineering companies, so we obviously have a long road in front of us. Now, it's my understanding that this bridge took two decades to build back then. Now, it probably wouldn't take that long now, but back then it was um, in 77. I think it took two decades to build. Um, somebody say, how can the bridge fall so fast? Well, it's infrastructure. Uh, I remember they they have been hinting to bridges collapsing back during when the uh, planes hit the uh, the builders in um in what was that New York and and, and I remember vividly uh, when um, if I'm not mistaken, it was George Bush that said. Uh, if we don't take care of this, and now this is not an attack on a bridge. If we doesn't take care of this and pursue these criminals, then we're going to have bridges collapsing. We're going to have more buildings hit, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and so here we go years later, although it was by a cargo ship, we have a big, a, a, a bridge collapse. And, and like I said, the strange thing is bridges are engineered this, this is what you got to consider. And I don't want to be a conspiracy theory, theorist, but what you have to consider is that these bridges are engineered to be hit by cargo ships because they were built for the passage of cargo ships. Do you understand what I'm saying? Be, many of the bridges that are high bridges, they are built specifically for cargo ships to pass under and to possibly hit them you know what i'm saying so uh yes it was an accident according to reports but i tell you man strange things are happening in this world right now strange things are happening in this world i mean from 1977 uh to 2024 uh get hit by um by by a a, a, a cargo ship and and, and, and I mean, miraculously, miraculously, uh, the report is uh, seven people were missing. Um, and I don't know if that's the workers or somebody was driving up the bridge. You know what I mean? The boss Trucker said there was a report of nation, nation's bridges, agents, and need repairs. Yeah. But so the, the latest report is that seven people were missing. So we don't know. They got... um. They have uh, the, the 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 divers in the water right now. You know what I mean, I'm I'm this country most likely. You know what I mean, I saw the footage of the cars was driving all over when it got hit. Well, yeah. So so this is the one I I didn't get a close up one, but the crazy thing about it is is that I will say that anybody in Baltimore knows a lot of us, um, a lot of us don't go that way. Every once in a while, I go that way. 
every once in a while. Like, like because of the tunnels, you don't have to go that way. In fact, it takes you to the outskirts of Baltimore. You know what I mean? It really does. It takes you to the outskirts. If anybody familiar with Baltimore, um, you have the Bethlehem Steel that was very, very uh, instrumental in the United States economy in the early 20th century. You know, and once that was shut down, that area right there, uh, where that bridge is, once once Bethlehem Steel was shut down, you know, it was things change a little bit. Hi, GS. This is the bridge goes in the direction of Kent, Maryland. No, the bridge that goes towards Kent, Maryland, that is the Bay Bridge. Now, the Bay Bridge, the Bay Bridge is a little more higher than that. And the Bay Bridge, uh, somebody say I go that way only when I go in Brooklyn. My, why are you going to Brooklyn, bro? <laughs> he, my, you better chill. You know them people be right there. You better not be doing that more over Brooklyn, bro. You know we go that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now I used to live over. I used to live on Jack Street in Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn hardcore, man. You know, right over Brooklyn recently, there were man. I think it's about nine people shot over there. Dang. So you, you going the back way to Brooklyn? <laughs> it's like I'm like. <laughs> uh, but but let me read up on some of this some of this more history real quick. Um. Thank you, Brother Leonard Wilson. Listen, family, if you are from Baltimore, just check on your family just in case. Um, check on your family. I'll be checking on mine throughout the day. I, I'm pretty confident that my family don't uh, travel that area. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 the Bay Bridge, the, the Bay Bridge that goes towards Kent County, that's a huge bridge also. Um, and it wobbles. It definitely wobbles. You know what I mean? I mean, it definitely wobbles. Uh, but it's something about the Bay Bridge. It feels a little bit more safe for some reason. It's longer. It's scary. <laughs> but I know my brother gets anxiety. He said when he goes over that bridge. Let me let me thanks let me thank my big brother Leonard Wilson. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. And I'm I'm starting to see that y'all like the updated reports that I'm bringing in and the stories that we uh, the current stories that I'm bringing in. And so I'm going to continue bringing this to you. Um, and this is just a special report today. This is a special report, but I'll keep this going. It says. A major bridge collapsed in Baltimore on Tuesday morning after it was hit by a container ship, sending several vehicles plunging into the water below, prompting an intense search for for survivors and throwing the future of the of key shipping port into question. A unknown number of workers were on the bridge at the time of the crash, and emergency responders said that they were looking for at least seven people who were missing. Two people were rescued from the water. Wow. After two people was rescued, that's good. I didn't read this because I'm grabbing this as as I go along. Um, um, so I'm finding this out as you find it out also. Two people was rescued from the water after the ship hit a pillar supporting part of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which carries Interstate 695 over the Patapsco River, southeast of Baltimore metropolitan area. One person rescued from the water was in good condition and refused treatment. Wow, that is gangster. I'm sorry, I got to use that word. Woo! God bless that person. Woo! Uh, the other was seriously injured and was being treated in track trunk shock trauma center baltimore fire chief james wallace said in news conference at the scene underwater drones as well as sonar and infrared surveillance tools had confirmed there were several cars in the river wallace said we are still very much in active search and rescue posture at this point uh, wallace said rescues would search the surface of the water in the river and on the deck of the ship he said Maryland Governor Wes Moore said he had declared state of emergency following the bridge the bridge collapse uh, and was working to to deploy federal resources. So uh yeah, yeah, this is this is the real deal. This is the real deal here. This is no game here. Unbelievable that in this day and age that a bridge can just go. In this day and age, just go like that. And, and as I think Crip said, it felt like a house of cards. You know, and that that's that's kind of, 
unfortunate, you know, because in this day and age, you would think that um, that we had more things, uh, 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 more securities in place for people traveling over bridges, you know. But hey, anyway, the bay, the bay take you to Eastern Shore and the exit from Salisbury, Maryland to the Bay Bridge a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't really typically like bridges myself. You know what I mean? I don't like I don't, man, I don't like nothing man made. You know I'm saying you I ain't like flying. I don't like none of that. I'm but you know, it is what it is. You know, when it's when it's when it's the time to, to bounce, you're gonna have to go ahead and get up out of here. It is what it is. Uh but but what I wanna remind you is that family, you know, we go back and forth about a lot of stuff with our family members and our loved ones, whether it's with your spouse, whether it's with your children. Man, at the end of the day, man, you could be gone tomorrow. Like, you could have just, you could be riding across that bridge and, you know, going to handle your daily daily uh, uh, routine and that's it. You know, so, man, we got to be careful holding grudges all the time with family members. Um we got to be got to be really careful with that. You know what I mean? Holding grudges, acting as if, you know what I mean? Every beef is the end all be all. You know. Yeah, we we got to be careful, you know what I mean? Because we be holding beef with family members, we be having holding beef with uh, uh uh with loved ones and at the end of the day, it's it's the it's not the end all be all. Thank you so much Liddell Moore. <laughs> yeah, man, we go. I'm, I'm gonna build this channel up for the Morse World TV citizens. You know what I mean? After we expose the frauds, we actually going to um, keep everybody informed as to what's going on. You know what I mean? So, I want to thank, I want to thank uh, Liddell Moore. Thanks for covering these stories as well as exposing frauds. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cover up to date stories and continue to expose these frauds. Absolutely, absolutely. We're not going to stop. That's right. We're not going to stop. We appreciate you, family. Uh, you really make it worth it. Um, but, yeah, look at this. Y'all see that? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's right. That's right, Abu X. We, me and you know, brother, communication is key. If you're able to keep the lines of communication open with your family, there is a chance. But, you know, sometimes you might have to walk away and turn around and come back later. You know, but again, communication is key. But like any, like you could be riding down this, um, you could be riding right down this uh, demonstration and, you know, and, 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 and it's over. And it's over. Look at this. Imagine somebody one o'clock in the morning because this happened at one o'clock in the morning. I mean, imagine this at one. I ain't messing with no Nepal right now. They, they hey, boss trucker, Nepal and them people, man, they live in a graveyard, man. I can't mess with them right now. If I mention them, that's that's gonna that's gonna get them out of the grave. Let them talk. Let them talk. You sure it's not an attack? I'm reaching right now. Well, I don't know. We got the ship right there. Boss Trucker, you hear what I said? They, uh, uh, Sarnetta and Nepal, they, they, their whole message is in the graveyard. If I say something, I'm going to resurrect them. So I just leave them right there. I ain't got nothing to say. Let them say something. Let them say all they want. You know what I mean? One thing about... One thing about um, one thing about um, myself is, uh, especially when it comes to Morris World TV, one thing about myself is um, anybody that says anything about me, all it does is improve my ratings. It doesn't, um, and if I say something about them, then it'll bring tension to them. I'm I'm good right now. I get them later on the back end. While they sitting up there talking about, uh, um, talking about, uh, uh, Mo, she talking about Moses and Sinetta talking about uh, 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 Impotep. That I get them on the back end when I ain't doing nothing. But yeah, they they dead and stinking now. They gotta use my name now. 
They should have used my name when I was on their heels. Uh, they they missed the boat. They missed the boat, boss. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, family. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not going to. Do you know what I realized, family? This off topic a little bit to my brother, boss, boss Trucker. A little bit off topic. Um, uh, do you know what I do notice is, is that, like I said, these people recognition on social media have not even blossomed and they stunt their own influence to assist people, help people, and to inform people. Um, mine is steady growing. So I'm really not going to reach back uh, two years ago uh, right now, unless I'm bored. I mean, I'm not bored right now. Like, it's plenty of things going on. Tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, Russell Simmons. Do you know, anybody know that Russell Simmons was served with um, some sort of, um, I think he was served with some sort of uh, a, a lawsuit. Um, and we'll be talking about him uh, tonight. Um, so I don't have, I want to, I want to get people on to know what, with some of these up to date stories. You know what I'm saying? I want to get people on some of these up to date stories. Somebody say, then it'd be petty beef with my people because my sister gave the leftover food from my auntie funeral to my little cousin and his family in person got got mad. <laughs> Ain't put up no money. <laughs> Yeah, man, we, it be super petty, man. Our families, man, I'm telling you, we got the most, we got the most diverse, uh, toxic situations on the planet Earth, man, as as a group of people. But I, I, I think, let me say we don't have the most toxic. Let me just say this. Because we're in the midst of it, it appears that we have the most toxic. You know what I'm saying? But I think other groups of people, they got toxic stuff that they, that we don't see. You know what I mean? And they, and it don't, they don't, it's not highlighted on the internet as much as ours. Um, but yeah, look at this bridge, family. This is, this is real business right here. Um, let me see. So, so I wanted to share with you tonight what we're going to have. We're going to be talking about Russell Simmons. Y'all know that Russell Simmons was actually served, uh, served with, with his papers. I haven't even finished my thumbnail yet, but, um. I got it ready for tonight. Um, and why is it that all of these people are getting caught up in this mess? It's all coming back. I think it's a I think it's a re I think it's a restart. I think the old gatekeepers are out and the new gatekeepers are coming in. Um that's what I truly think. And we'll be talking about that tonight. Russell Simmons, not only Russell Simmons, uh, other people that uh, uh, is mentioned in the um, the case. Um, somebody said, oh, when you're at a funeral, the people go and break in the house and the person pass away and steal everything that they can. Good goodness of gracious. They do that out there, Leonard? <laughs> Man. Yeah. I ain't heard that one. Now, I've heard, I've heard, uh, uh, they robbed the church. I remember one time they had a funeral here and they robbed everybody in the church. Told everybody to lay down. Lay down. They told everybody lay down. Yeah, y'all gonna be a funeral, but y'all gonna pay me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoot, a friend of mine who was um actually in one of the temples here in Baltimore, young brother, man. Young brother, yeah, they 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 came to the grave site a few years ago. They came up to the grave site and just da, 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 da. I said, "Good goodness of gracious, yeah." So, um, but like I said, fam, we got to cherish life. Um, man, that water cold too. That water cold too. At at that was at one in the morning. People in that river, that current probably strong. Yeah, that man, that water good and cold too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me see if they got any updates. Any more updates? Oh, I got I got a few more things that I can go over. Let me see real quick. I got a few more things that I can go over real quick. I hope y'all, I hope y'all, uh, if y'all enjoy 
uh, uh, the broadcast this morning. Please, please like and subscribe. Um, somebody said the U.S. Coast Guard uh, told NBC News that it received a report at 1.27 a.m. Eastern Time that a motor vessel made impact with the bridge and confirmed it was a 948 feet vessel named Dali, a container ship sailing under a Singaporean flag. Bobby Haynes, who lives in Dundalk in Baltimore County, said he felt the impact of the bridge collapse from his house nearby. I woke up at 1.30 this morning and my house shook and I was freaking out, he said. I thought it was an earthquake and to find out it was the it was a bridge is really scary. It's really, really scary. At the time of the crash, contractors was doing concrete repair on the bridge. Welder told Weeder told reporters. A representative from the Browner, Browner Builders Incorporated said that the company had construction crew on the bridge when it collapsed. The representative declined to provide additional details, including how many employees were missing at the time or are still missing. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so family, like I said, you know, you never know, you never know what could take place. Uh, you never know what could take place. You know, at one minute, uh, uh, you 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 living the life, and you're on your way home, and a bridge could collapse. So so you know, you gotta cherish every moment. You know what I mean, don't let don't let the haters bring you down. I mean, don't let listen. If 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 ain't nobody, if ain't nobody hating on you, ain't nobody hating on you. That mean you you probably out of their way. Or your energy don't benefit them. You know what I'm saying? Don't trip. Don't trip. You know what I mean? It's one or the other. You're out of their way. You know what I'm saying? Me, I stay in somebody's way. That's right. Because I expose them. You know what I mean? I call a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? And my energy can benefit them. That's why people will make a bunch of videos and all that. But but those videos also benefit me because what happens is people check those videos out and it's like, well, let me check this guy out. They say, oh, man, that's not the guy that they talking about. And then we go on and build and awaken uh, uh, a new group of people. But, yeah, look at that bridge there. Yeah. But. Family, I appreciate y'all here. Let me let me double check any updates real quick. Um, now, now let me tell you what happened to me before before I get out of here. My wife woke me up early this morning because she wake up before everybody. I mean, she greetings from Germany. I told you. <laughs> so I say, wow, GS is live. Greeting from Germany. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell people, man. Hey, 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 crypto. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Our family in Germany is on here. Our family from the UK is on here. You know what I'm saying? Our family is here. You know what I'm saying? All around the United States, we here. You know? So, uh, um, I know I got some of my people from Africa up in here. Uh, um, uh, Ghana. Um, Tanzania. My brother in Tanzania. I'm bringing bring him on soon. But the point that I'm making is, is that we are very influential. And I, I really didn't notice how influential uh, MWTV was until the other day, for real. I mean, even though even though, even though, though the frauds get mad and they go crazy, I didn't know I was that impactful. I didn't know I was that important. <laughs> Australia in the building. <laughs> Australia in the building. <laughs> I did not know I was that impactful until the other day. When the African brother said to me, he went, we was in the store for 30 or 40 minutes. And when it was almost time for us to purchase, either decide to purchase or go, he said, the Huckabee. <laughs> I said, what? The Huckabee. Mother Shirella TV. I said, Cucker, this is crazy. I'm famous. <laughs> but that, what I'm saying is that's not the first time, but that was out of all the times. Out of all the times people that pulled me up, that one seemed a little bit. Now I've been pulled. I've been I've been pulled up by bona fide 
recognize supposedly stars and everything, especially in New York. And, and, and it didn't really hit, this one hit different because we was in there about 30, 45 minutes and we was decided to tell my wife, go ahead and get the dress, you know what I mean? Because we going to an event, an African uh, uh, attired event. And he said, don't worry, that I could be. <laughs> what accent is that? Is that Ghana or, or is that South African? Whatever it is, he said. Now, I think that's, uh, 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 that Mali. That might be Mali. <laughs> that Hakka Bay. Motorsville TV. I said, good, good, it's a crisis. I didn't made it. And so we're going to lose use this influence uh, to put people on serious, serious information and what's going on around the world. Um, I want to, I'm a, I want to watch this closely. Uh, keep an eye on this investigation uh, about this bridge. But so far, uh, it's not a lot of casualties. Like I said, I, I, I can almost guarantee you that if you would talk to 100 people in Baltimore that has to commute, I would almost guarantee you that 97% would say, I don't take that way. Nah, uh 97 and that's a high number but i'm talking about of of of, of, of my people because that 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 bridge right there that bridge right there is something of a like ah man it's it, it, it just feel funny it just feel funny family it really do it feel funny but with that being said family I want y'all to not to forget to subscribe, family. We'll be back here tonight. Is anybody got any questions? Um, let me see if there's any more updates. Um, Key Bridge. Yeah, my wife woke me up this morning, and she like, um, she like the bridge collapsed. I'm like, man. And 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 and, and my my wife, she wake up, she wake up ready to rock and roll. You know what I mean? She show enough. She be ready to rock and roll. Um, and in my mind, I'm saying to myself, um, man, she be all hype in the morning. Okay, I got something right here. She be all hype in the morning. I'm like, calm down a little bit. You dig? <laughs> yeah, I be like, calm down a little bit. Um, so, oh man, so so then let me let me let me let me um. Let me let me put my bro on. I gotta get my bro on. I'm gonna start getting these interviews too, family. Um, man, I I would love for y'all to meet my brother Brandon Scott. Man, I love this brother. Man, he gets a he gets a bad rap, but he is the mayor of Baltimore. Um, he gets a bad rap. You know what I mean? Sometimes, man, them Europeans they be trying to take him down. But this is the mayor of Baltimore. Salute to the brother straight from Park Heights. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, hold up. That's right. Now, man, man, listen, 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 listen. They give the brother a bad rap. They be coming for the brother. Uh, man, and it's a crab barrel mentality out here. Yes, respectfully. Yeah, ask the question, brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. If it's a suspect question, I can't answer it. Boss Trucker, ask me anything. Come on, bro. I do my best to answer it. Um, but um, and what I mean, suspect pe question. I got a lot going on, so I don't want to jeopardize some of the stuff I got going on. So, but Brandon Scott, he just put out um, he just put out this right here. Come on, boss. I'm going to be getting off here in a minute. So Brandon Scott just put out, whereas pursuant of section 14-111 of the public safety article of Anonotic Code of Maryland, the mayor is authorized to declare a local state of emergency, whereas the Francis 
Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsed early this morning after being struck by a container ship resulting in active search and rescue efforts, structural damage, and other consequences. Whereas measures must be taken to protect persons affected by these circumstances and to address the structural and transportation efforts, including implement, implementation of the relevant parts of Baltimore City Emergency Operations Plans. Now, therefore, I, Brandon M. Scott, Mayor of the City of Baltimore, by virtue of authority invested in me, I do hereby declare a state of emergency in Baltimore City, and I do hereby issue the following executive order. Be it ordered that Baltimore City's emergency operations plans be implemented in Baltimore City. This declaration of state of emergency shall take place to, I'm sorry, this direct declaration of state of emergency to take effect at 9 a.m. March 26, 2024 and remain in effect for 30 days subject to renewal or cancellation as conditions warrant. Brandon M. Scott, mayor. Yeah. What happened to person name? Ki, 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 I don't know a person named Kiara. Bro, you got to email me. I don't think you spelling it right. I don't know a person named Ki, ki Air. He Adra. They might got the wrong person. A Funation. I don't know who that is. You have to you have to email me the details. I don't know who that is. What happened to you in a in this person name? I can't see the whole thing. You have to email me the information. I don't know. I don't know a person. Is there an interview somewhere that I can find? A Fu Nation. Key air of a Fu Nation. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Something about you being a speaker somewhere. I don't know who that is, bro. I have no clue. Key air of a Fu Nation. Nah, I don't know. I don't think that's enough information. Is that the right name? Is that the right name, Boss Trucker? A Fu Nation. Key air of Fu Nation. I don't have a clue, bro. Where did that story come from? Yeah, man, see, I got the key. I got to get me a lawyer on retainer. You got people jumping out the window. A lady named Kier of a Fu Nation. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Where did you get that information? Email me at Moorish World TV Update. MWTV Updates at gmail.com. Yeah, any more questions, bro, you can email me. Anybody can email me questions, but I'm telling you, I don't have a clue who that is under that name. You know what I mean? Under that name. But um, so we will be live tonight, family. Yeah, I wanted to give people updates. Updates, many people. He talking about a, a Ma Karu, Lady Kier. What is, who is that, Crip? He talked about Mark Botu. <laughs> who is that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> uh, it's a sidebar for those who just coming in. Somebody asking me, did I, uh, um, what happened between me and a person called Lady Kiara? That mean, um, he talking about Afu Ma Keru Lady Kiara. Who is that? Yeah, you know, many people reached out to me. 
early this morning. My phone was jumping, so I, I thought I was compelled to go live and um, give people updates. Uh, thank you so much, Doug Cody. She's somebody in music. <laughs> I don't know these people, man. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can Google a fool. How do I supposed to know her? I'm sorry. How I'm supposed to know her? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. A fool, ma. I'm going to look it up. I don't know these people. Before I get out of here, I'm going to try to ask this question. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, let me see. No, I don't see that. Now, man. <laughs> I, I might be wasting my time. <laughs> what happened to Boss Truck? He posed to tell me what's going on. Anyway, family, I got to get out of here. It's 1130 on the East Coast. I will be live tonight. Um, and again, we will be looking at um, the atrocities going on into the music um, business with all of this uh, trafficking and all of this inappropriate behavior. We'll be talking about Russell Simmons tonight and things connected. You know, he was just served also. He was served in Bali, uh, Bali, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, we're going we're gonna to follow the times uh, and see what's going on, what's happening. Um, Y'all said... interpret dreams all right dream interpreters all right yas won't you come on the show and 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 and, and interpret some people dreams for us anybody want to do a dream interpreting show um crip say he interpret his own dreams he also an astrologer so i i i see i see what's i i i'm a, i'm a i'm a um i'm a visionary i have visions you know what i mean i have visions i know what's about to happen before it happened, you know what I mean? I, and, and sometimes I just don't, I don't, man, it's hard to really relate what's about to happen um, because the thing is you don't know if it's going to be in the next hour or the next year sometimes. So that's that's where I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I mean, that's the, that, that, I'm stuck between the rock and the hard place because you don't know when exactly it's going to happen. Uh, I'm getting better with my visionary um, uh, aptitude, if you will. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, family, I appreciate y'all. I see y'all tonight. You know I mean, I see y'all tonight. I hope I see y'all tonight. Thank you, Leonard. Thank you, Linnell, Liddell. Lindell Moore. Um, appreciate y'all. Tonight is going to be kind of raw now. Tonight is going to be kind of raw. And what I mean by that is uh, we're going to be talking about Russell Simmons served with a lawsuit in Bali. All right. Tonight is going to be kind of raw. You know what I mean, um, it got to be talked about. Yeah. And family, again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Because um, if I'm going to give a couple hours out of my morning, um, I'm asking you just to give uh, a subscribe or a like. Oh, man, they talking about dreams. Y'all got me don't want to don't wanna let the show over now. I want to hear about the dreams, too. <laughs> I like that kind of thing. Shoot, I want to hear about these dreams also. You know what I mean? What happened in the dream? Boss Trucker, can you give me more information on this person? Thank you, Boss Trucker. Can can you give me more information on this person? Or did somebody say something? What, what's the what's the backstory, Boss Trucker? Huh? You got the you got the backstory, Boss Trucker?
Thank you, Boss Trucker. Appreciate you. Yeah, give me the backstory. Let me see if you emailed me yet before I get out of here. Because there got to be a backstory to somebody, quote, using my name, saying my name in vain. You know what I mean? Got to be a backstory. All right. I'm, I got to get out of here in a minute. I got some business I got to take care of. Yeah, but hopefully, Boss Trucker hit me up and let me know what he's talking about. Uh, family, I hope you enjoyed this morning's show. I'm kind of just rambling on right now. Um, just trying to figure out. Because sometimes I, when people say things, I, I'm really curious about what they're talking about. You know what I mean? I'd be super, super curious. Um, anyway, I'm about to get out of here. So I'm going to handle my business for the day. And I... <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm supposed to be a speaker somewhere. But you, you do know it's another Tahaka Bay, right? You do know it's another Tahaka Bay. So it's, maybe she might not be talking about me. There's another elder named Tahaka Bay, and he spelled his name a little bit different. But I don't really speak for nobody. You know what I mean? I don't really go speaking. I, I'm going to start. I usually, before COVID, I did my own thing. I did my own thing. I did my own lectures and things like that. But I don't really, uh, uh, I mean, I've never been paid to speak nowhere. I've never been pretty much invited. I've always set up my own speaking engagements. You know what I mean? So I don't even know who that is. But it, it's a quite possible she could be talking about another Tahaka Bay, and that's an elder out in Florida, and that's the only Tahaka Bay that I know. But I doubt if she was talking about me. I don't even know that name. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even know that name. But I could be wrong, though. You know what I mean? I'm a half a hundred plus one. I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I could be wrong. It could be, it, uh, uh, I could be wrong, but hey, I doubt if I'm wrong because before COVID, um, me and my family would pack up and we would do lectures, Atlanta, uh, Philadelphia, um, and and we just did what we had to do. Uh, but I never took um, speaking engagements from anybody. I mean, I, I might. <laughs> I might, I might, I might, I might take some this year going around uh, because, like I said, people, people uh, is waking up. You know what I mean? But we going to get out of here, family. Enjoy your day. Yeah. I'm going to see you tonight. Slow. Yeah. Try to be your friend, man. That's right. Try to be your friend, bro. Help me out. Meet me halfway. Come on. I want to, I want to, I want to be your friend. Peace and love. Child, sit at the foot of a master. 
I train you up, but, we but I might have we to bang can. you up. I still love you. And it those that's live. talking that this ain't is flawed, everything's Some a profit the part. It's in the Quran. All the other that's stuff prostrate and cover up is just the start. And there is space to me to lost the heart. You can dress like Emperor Tep, but you can dress like a herd. You can ride a motion, murder, and mosque, and unifies the word. You can say what you want about Dr. York, but it's gay to get the variations of the same thought. You don't appreciate that. You won't appreciate me. Appreciate the holy and divine true by lady. People refuse to admit it. He the first that I forget it. Europeans could be cut the walls would forget it, but we here strong, alive and well. Resurrected from hell. Where the story to tell. So pay attention and listen. And consider the facts. You know it's humanly impossible for you to be black. I guess the China man is yellow. A Mexican is brown. Just think for a second. How ridiculous it sound. We can turn it around. But we must be light. It's okay to do but we don't have to. Cause if we have to fight, you know how we get I'm still learning to love, no I'm not dead yet So work with me fam and I'ma work with you And let's all work together and do what we gotta do Cause on the real side, we haven't made no progress Since 1929 when the prophet left the flesh We got an Asiatic president, men marrying men Psycho shooting up a club and don't see his own sin And those that said they conscious to took your fucks Move straight to Hollywood, straight living it up And y'all picking it up Straight cheesing and grinning But it was your bread to help and set it off in the beginning Be careful what you put in your soul Cause it could blind you Unfortunately some people can pay the disguise They can disguise you Oh yeah, I wanna be your friend Peace and love, let me be your friend Peace and love I said you ain't never And you would never You ain't never, ever, ever You ain't never met a more like this Try to be enemies. I wanna be your. You let me be your. I wanna be your friend. Hey.